All right, guys, here we go. Alabama brawl turned spotlight on Montgomery's racial history. So this whole thing is nothing but more racial division, all right, just like George Floyd. And we're going to talk about George Perry Floyd 201 in a little bit. So this article was from August 8th. This incident happened on August 5th. Viral video of a chaotic brawl along Montgomery, Alabama's riverfront has renewed national conversations about racial tensions in America. This is exactly what they want. They want us fighting about race, right? A fight between a group of white boaters and a black co-captain of a riverboat escalated into a melee Saturday when a group of bystanders joined the fray. All right. All right, guys, so we're going to break this down all by the numbers using gematria, which is simply letters as numerals. And once you learn the simple code of coding letters into numbers, you can see right through the scripted coded news every day. So, first thing that Brother Franchot pointed out, he said, the riverboat is named Harriet, all right? And this is obviously a, a, a racial uh, situation here, right? It's being painted as a, a racial division, right? So, you know, Harriet Tubman allegedly helped free the slaves with the Underground Railroad, right? So what are the odds? We have a, a racial ritual here, and the boat is named Harriet, all right? So automatically when you hear Harriet and race, you think Harriet Tubman, right? It's all about the symbolism. Now, this is what Brother Franchot pointed out to me. He said... Brother, I know you talk about the number 201 all the time. Can you believe that riverboat was named Harriet, and Harriet Tubman was born 201 years ago, right? Harriet Tubman was born in March of 1822. They don't give a date for the day she was born, so I just went with March 1st. But you could do March 20th. 25th, it don't matter. You're still going to get 201 years. All right. This happened on August 5th. All right. So this is where we're, we're starting. The boat is named Harriet. All right. We have a racial divide. You hear race and Harriet. You automatically think Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was born... 201 years ago, and you guys know I talk about the number 201 every single day, right? Well, I asked Brother Franchot, I said, have you looked up Harriet Tubman in Gematria yet? He said, not yet. I said, okay, well, let me do some research, let me uh, look into this, and then I'll call you back. Well, it only took me about one minute before I called him back, and I said, brother, are you sitting down? <laughs> he said, I'm brushing my teeth. I said, uh, brother, you might... You might end up throwing your toothbrush after you hear this one. So he called me not knowing that Harriet Tubman equals 201 in Gematria, right? So what are the odds? The river boat is named Harriet. Harriet Tubman was born 201 years ago, and Harriet Tubman equals 201, like the Jesuit order is 201, right? Now you might think that's a, a stretch or a coincidence, right? Well... Thank you to Brother Dion Sandals. He found this here. Three men charged with assault in Montgomery Riverfront Brawl. Well, well, well. Riverfront Brawl equals 201. So either way you want to slice or dice it, whether you want to uh, believe the Harriet Tubman connection, there's no debating uh, riverfront Brawl is 201. It's their words, not mine. So, 
clearly another 201 ritual, and I do believe we are correct with this Harriet Tubman connection, because I think that's an impossible coincidence. You have a, a racial divide, right? Black people fighting white people. Race in Alabama, in the South, Civil War, right? The boat's named Harriet. You automatically think Harriet Tubman. Then you find out Harriet Tubman was born 201 years ago, and Harriet Tubman equals 201. Then you find out Riverfront Brawl is 201, right? So we're building the case here. Now, if you're not convinced of anything I've said yet, this next part should totally uh, convince you, okay? There's probably nobody more racially divisive in the history of the world than Donald Trump. Let's be honest, right? Maybe the, uh, the guy with the H in his last name, H-I-T-L-E-R, right? Anyways, Donald Trump, right? Always with the racial division. You guys know what I'm talking about. Former President Donald Trump will speak at the Alabama GOP summer dinner Friday night. This is an old article from a few days ago. You know when Friday night was? It was the night before the Riverfront Brawl, okay? Now, not only was Trump in Alabama, but Trump was in Montgomery, Alabama. So, wrap your head around this. Donald Trump with all the racial divisions surrounding him, right? This Riverfront Brawl was in Montgomery, Alabama on August 5th. Saturday, August 5th. On Friday, August 4th, Donald Trump gave a speech in Montgomery, Alabama. Not even 24 hours before the brawl. Right? So think about it. Donald Trump with the racial division all around him. This fight was in Montgomery, Alabama. Donald Trump gave a speech in Montgomery, Alabama the day before. Now, we've been talking about 201 with this Riverfront Brawl. Remember, Riverfront Brawl 201? What if I told you the speech that Donald Trump gave at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel the day before would have an address of 201 Tallapoosa Street, Montgomery, Alabama. That's right, folks. Donald Trump was in Montgomery, Alabama just hours before the brawl in Montgomery, Alabama, Riverfront Brawl 201, and Donald Trump was speaking at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel and Spa, which just happened to be at 201 Tallapoosa Street. Now, I'm going to need everyone to hit the like button now, after that, because your, your jaw should be on the floor at this point, especially if you've been watching this channel for any length of time. Or maybe you're not shocked anymore, like I am not shocked. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, guys. Can you, can you see the picture here? Okay, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, right? We talk about 201 every day. We got a racial divide here. Riverfront brawl, 201. And the day before, Donald Trump is in the same city. I mean, you don't even need numbers. What are the odds that Donald Trump is in Montgomery, Alabama, the day before the big brawl in Montgomery, Alabama. You know how many cities there are in the United States? And he just happened to be at 201 Tallapoosa Street? Come on, man. There ain't no way this is all a coincidence. Let's not forget Event 201, the pandemic simulation that took place while Trump was president. Event 201. Main sponsor, William Henry Gates equals 201, right? So continuing on, we know the 201 
is a big number connected to Donald Trump. Also a big number connected to Barack Obama. Let's not forget King of Babylon, Barack Obama, is 201. The son of perdition, Barack Hussein Obama, is 201. That old serpent equals 201, another name for the devil. Event 201, held on October 18th, 1018. Like Luke 1018, I beheld Satan as lightning from heaven. Barack means lightning, Obama means the heights. Right? So this 201 number, very important, right? So moving on with the connection to Trump in the number 201, let's not forget that he was recently in court for the classified documents probe, and he was in court on June 13th, the day leaving 201 days left in the year, and this was for classified documents, which equals 201, like the full name of the Jesuit Pope, Jorge Mario Bergoglio equals 201. The Pope lives in suite 201. At the Doma Sancte Marte, which equals 201. Ignatius of Loyola equals 201. He's the founder of the Jesuit order, which equals 201. Why do you think they called it Event 201, the pandemic simulation? I mean, where did they get that number? Event 201. That old serpent, 201, another name for the devil, right? And don't forget, the Vatican is shaped like a serpent. The Jesuits, the religious order, the Catholic Church, right? Now, still talking about that indictment, right? He was in court June 13th, the day leaving 201 days left in the year. But that indictment news came on June 8th right? 201 days after Joe Biden's birthday. What are the odds, right? And if you guys remind me uh, later when I get done, I'd love to go over the numbers of this classified documents probe because, like I said, all three of the indictments have all been by the numbers. I think the classified documents one is probably the most hilarious one. But anyways, moving on. Let's not forget Trump's first wife, Ivana Trump, her funeral on the 201st day of the year. President Trump in attendance, of course. The 201st day of the year. Donald Trump's first wife. What are the odds? Let's not forget the fake moon landing was on the 201st day of the year. And the first person to step on the moon, allegedly, Neil Alden Armstrong equals 201, right? And we know that Ivana Trump situation was a ritual because Ivana Trump fell down the stairs and died 222 days before her birthday. And Ivana equals 222 in satanic, in reverse satanic. Whoop, got a message here. In reverse satanic, Trump equals 222. In reverse gematria, Trump organization is 222. Donald John Trump Sr. is 222. The first U.S. case of COVID was in King County, Seattle, 222 days after Trump's birthday. And Trump made the calm before the storm statement on the 5th of October 2017, exactly 222 days before the Claydex simulation. And while Trump was president, COVID was declared a pandemic March 11th, 2020, exactly 222 months after 9-11, and order out of chaos is 222, and as above, so below is 222, and 7th King Trump is 222, and you can read about the 7th King in Revelation 17, and Obama is the 6th and the 8th King, which makes him the Antichrist, and Barack Obama the Antichrist equals 222. And in the year 2022, Obama tested positive for COVID 222 days after his birthday. What are the odds? But anyways, this video is about 201, so let me not get too sidetracked. But the point I was making, two of the big numbers we talk about are 201 and 222. So what are the odds that Ivana Trump's funeral 
was on the 201st day of the year, and she died 222 days before her birthday. Jackie says, what does 201 mean? It represents the devil, that old serpent, 201, the Jesuit order who serves Satan, right? The Jesuit order, 201. All right, moving on. QAnon. We all know about the connection between Donald Trump and QAnon, right? Well, what are the odds? QAnon equals 201. And we're talking about racial division here, right, with this 201 ritual. Just a couple weeks ago, Jason Aldean put out a very divisive song called Try That in a Small Town. Jason Aldean equals 201. Now, possibly one of the biggest uh, racial rituals ever, George Perry Floyd, 201. What are the odds? Again, that happened while Trump was president. Total ritual. All made up, by the way. Eight minutes and 46 seconds, the knee on the neck, 846. The first tower hit at 846. The Fallen Angels, 846. Tribulation, 846. The Days of Noah, 846. Trump killed equals 846 for the record. And the verse in the Bible about the synagogue of Satan, Revelation 3.9 equals 846. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie, equals 846. Large Hadron Collider equals 846, and they went full power with CERN on July 5th last year, 846 days after COVID was declared a pandemic on March 11th, 2020. What are the odds? But yeah, George Perry Floyd, another 201. And then this riverfront brawl, which equals 201, was in Alabama. I thought it was interesting. We just recently had another 201 out of Alabama, Carly Russell the uh, alleged missing woman, right? Carly Russell, 201. So here's your key points, guys. I think this whole thing was scripted, a bunch of WWE nonsense. I don't think it was a real fight. I think it was fake and staged to create more racial division in this country and around the world. So... The boat was named Harriet. When you think about race and Harriet, you automatically think Harriet Tubman, right? Harriet Tubman, born 201 years ago. Harriet Tubman equals 201. The Jesuit Order 201. The night before this fight, Donald Trump was in Montgomery, Alabama, and of all the places he could have been, he was at 201 Tallapoosa Street at the Renaissance Montgomery Hotel. And they're calling this the Montgomery Riverfront Brawl, Riverfront Brawl 201. You put all that together, I don't think there's any doubt about it. This is another clear 201 ritual. And if anybody would like to support the channel, here's how you can do so. Any support is greatly appreciated. This is my full-time job, my only source of income. And thank you very much to everyone who does support. You guys help keep me on here full-time. So thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. All right, guys. That's